Hi everyone, I'm Mark Rosenthal with you on this Monday afternoon. We are recording this Weather Blast special update as of about 3.40. We've been talking about the potential for a major nor'easter now for the last few days that will come to fruition. We've actually been dealing with a storm that came in late last night and this morning in the form of rain or drizzle. Looking out the weather window, we still have a little drizzle out there right now, but the heavy precipitation comes back tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow night, into midday Wednesday. Then we get a break on Thursday before the next storm comes up the coast late in the week in the first half of the weekend. So be prepared. You need your rain gear, you need generators, you need some pumps, the whole nine yards. If your basement normally floods, well, it may do so this time again. And certainly along the coast, it could be a problem. All right, let's check it out. Lots to talk about. Let's look at the weather headline. Major coastal storm is on the way for tonight, straight on through midday on Wednesday. Northeast winds could gust to hurricane force along the coast. There could be flooding along the coast at the time of high tide. Numerous power outages. We're talking about the potential for three to six inches of rain. This is from the National Weather Service in Boston in gold. You see that we do have a high wind warning in effect now, straight on through midday Wednesday. In the tan areas, that we're talking about a wind advisory there. The green would suggest a flood watch, which should occlude much of southern New England. And the purple offshore is a marine storm warning. All right, let's look at some ocean temperatures here, and you'll be able to see that the red area in the northeast is way above normal temperatures, but very mild or above normal temperatures, I should say, up and down the east coast. You see the cold patch of water off of South America all the way into the Pacific. That's the strong La Nina, which is holding tough. That's going to be interesting over the winters to see how that plays out. We also have a cold blob now in the Pacific Northwest. Last year at this time, it was very warm. So lots of players on the field, folks, lots of things to follow. As we look at the latest satellite loop, you'll see two storms, one spinning around Chicago, another one now getting organized off the North Carolina coast. So all the energy in the Great Lakes is going to be transferred southeast, and that's going to ignite the storm off the North Carolina coast late tonight and tomorrow with the pressure really falling out. Let's look at the uh, computer model from the Canadian. This is called the RGM, and you'll be able to see. Let me just start this loop again. You see the low takes over off east of Cape Hatteras and winds up to about a 976 millibar low. It sort of pinwheels back south of the Cape Wednesday afternoon and then finally out to sea. And the other storm, which has been affecting California by late in the week, moves into the Tennessee Valley getting ready to make its journey up the East Coast. Now, the next map I want to show you is a maximum wind gust at about 4 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's Tuesday morning or Wednesday morning, if you will. This is off the Canadian model. A strip of hurricane force winds from about Cape Ann down to about Hull and Plymouth on the western side of the Cape. I think much of the Cape, by the way, could see hurricane force winds. Even in Boston, we could see winds gusting to over 70 miles per hour. So let's just run down the forecast. Let's come back to me. We'll do it like this. And we'll say overnight, occasional light rain and drizzle moving in, becoming steadier and heavier. Temperatures falling back to about 50. Tomorrow, it's just very stormy. It's a wind-driven rain. Temperatures holding in low and mid-50s. Again, northeast winds picking up 35 to 75 miles an hour. That's good straight on through tomorrow night. Still intense rain and wind Wednesday morning, probably till about midday Wednesday. It should slowly subside Wednesday afternoon. Thursday, maybe starting off murky. We should see some sun during the afternoon, but still with northeast winds. It's in the 50s. Friday, thickening clouds could be raining by dark. Then it's rainy, windy again Friday night and Saturday. So lots to follow, folks. Of course, we'll be around and we'll keep you posted. Until then, I'm Mark Rosenthal.